Okay guys, I'm back from the market. The two from downstairs, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul. I felt so bad because I had to use my converter the whole time because I was like, is it worth? Because I'm not too familiar with the exchange rate just yet, but everything was like under a dollar, which is crazy. But the one thing that got me, so I ended up buying, uh, <laughs> I ended up buying some shampoo and conditioner. And the funny thing is, it costs the exact same as it is at home at Walmart. So this thing was like $7.82-ish. This, this is a pretty big bottle though. $7.82 for this. And $7.82 for this little thing too. This condi conditioner from Pantene. In Hong Kong, they don't normally give you like napkins at the table or there's some restrooms that don't have tissue. So I was told I had to buy some of these like little small um tissue packets and these were two for a dollar so a dollar one hong kong dollar is equal to 13 cents ain't that crazy <laughs> i super smushed it but they have freaking pineapple bun and the little sausage thing so it's here for like a dollar each so they had they charged me like 250 or something but i'm gonna do a little taste test in a second i also got two milk teas these are two for a two for two so two dollars in hong kong dollars is equal to two for 26 cents isn't that crazy these two things together were 26 cents oh my gosh but there's one coffee flavor and one milk tea so i'm excited to try these i know tea here it tastes more tea based than cream because i know like in sweet head and like kung fu tea and honey bubble at home they all have like the cream base but here in hong kong everything's just gonna taste like tea not not cream okay i'm about to taste test the tea. I think I need the coffee one right now. So I'm gonna open this one first. Okay. <laughs> that is some strong ass coffee. It literally tastes like black coffee with like a smidge of cream in it and then like a pinch of sugar. Let me try the pineapple bun first. And I'm so excited. Like I said outside, I'm sorry, I like squished it so hard. But like I said, outside in the market, I used to eat these all the time as a kid. I used to just eat the little top part and leave the bread like. Man, there's like meat in here, that's crazy. All right, that's gonna be my new favorite thing. I'm gonna take a break from that one and try the other one. A little hot that one. Yet again, I smushed it pretty good. So it's like a little croissant. And there's like a little hot dog, a little bit in there. Oh yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna try this. <laughs> I'm getting pineapple crumbs all over everywhere. <laughs> it tastes like the one I had in France, it's so good. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna pop this one open too because I finished that little coffee one in like two seconds. Oh! Oh, I lost a straw! Oh, crap. Oh, I got gypped, guys. Where's the... <laughs> I got gypped. I'm gonna take it off of the one I was just drinking because hashtag sanitary, right? Mm. Okay. I'm telling you, more tea base, and these are so much better. This bed is like goals right here. These pillows, oh. <laughs> but yeah, so I woke up this morning and literally I looked to the side and that's that's what I saw. Like, I saw the buildings, saw the little river down there and I was like, my breath is so taken. <laughs> if this is what it feels like for my guests at the hotel in a really nice room, oh God, it must be so nice. Now, I was saying this yesterday too, like, me working at a hotel, it's different than me staying in a hotel, you know? It's just, I was so breathtaking when I came in. I was telling my coworker Trunice yesterday night before I went to bed, like, they put in, like, two adopters in the room for me. I don't know if they do that for every single room or they did it for my room because they saw my uh, corporate membership card with the U.S. tag on it. So I was like, just come to the little things, you know? And, like, in the bathroom they had, like, a shaving kit. Actually, let me go show you. <laughs> So I already opened like, I already opened like half of it. But yeah, they have like this little kit and this little gorgeous little box. Like everything's in here. 
so you don't like have to call downstairs they had a little cups in here for me this little vanity mirror although i am kind of short <laughs> so i had to like put it like all the way down this morning and they have like two bottles of water which i have so freaking gonna take this little drawer there's all this stuff is complimentary but i just kind of don't want to take it <laughs> just yeah i know these are here in the back aren't but these these little guys are but they have like everything here and they just like thought of everything this is how it feels to stay at a hotel oh god for once you know like i work i was telling myself like hey you work so hard like this whole past year and to be so blessed to have two study abroads back to back in the summer and to be able to use your discount and to be able to work full time and go to school full time i i deserve you know i deserve to hang out a little bit and like enjoy it so i'm definitely basking in this hotel life right now okay anyways i'm done let me go finish my food oh my god outside here this little pool area it's insane and i can see like the inside of the gym they've got like lifetime fitness gear in here too so i guess like a because it's like a universal thing but i'm gonna sit out here and edit a little bit get the first vlog up for y'all and maybe we get that little um intro and outro done so i have a good well, right now it's 9.36. I check out at 1. So I have like a good, you know, while until I check out. I had a sign in to come out here and like the guy was so nice. He spoke English and stuff. So I guess it's like a good practice for them here too. Because a lot of them go to school and they teach in English in Hong Kong. I don't know if I like look American. Is that why? Like, do I have like an American flavor to me? Because <laughs> like everybody's like speaking to me in English. Hmm. I don't know. Like, I, I think I do look kind of Hong Kong. Like, people in the market are talking to me in, in Cantonese. But like here, I guess, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> okay guys, so I made it into my dorm room. So I had uh, one of my uncles drop me off just now and it's not looking too bad. Um, everybody's so friendly here, English friendly, and I had a couple girls like in front of me I haven't met yet. I haven't met my roommate yet because everybody comes in tomorrow. So I have the right hand side bed right here. And they're so nice, they had given us like blankets and like covers already. It's so backlit, let me stay this way. Okay. Um, but the weird thing is here, you have to pay for AC and I'm feeling the hot <laughs> right now. So I'm going to go load up my car. So these are like my lifelines. This one's to get into, um, the halls and this is get to get into my room with the Wi-Fi code and all that good stuff. We have a little like shared bathroom so I can tell like the girls next door are already here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So i got to open a little latch right here. So let me flip you guys over. So I can tell like one of the girls are here and they already cleaned aside. There's wash stuff. The shower's right here. I'm gonna meet them a little bit. This little toilet. Oh guys, yeah, my nerves are so starting to kick in a little bit. But um my little did say that his sister and her husband would who is European, he's from the UK, they're only in dinner tonight, so I don't know if I want to go with them or not. But I am going to explore the halls a little bit. I'm just going to unpack. I am, like, honestly, I am dressed the most, like, least, if that makes sense. Like, I'm only wearing a tank top and shorts. Everybody else is, like, in long sleeves, and it's, like, slaughtering really hot. So I don't know how we're doing it. But I am excited to meet everybody. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm going to be very careful with this. <laughs> it's very loud. But I... This, that's not that bad <laughs> it's a little bit like foamy kind of like the one in comments but they are you know they do the job i can't that i bought this camera because it's something for me to talk to you know i know that sounds like really stupid this is real like these are real feelings and i get to you know voice it out and it actually it's calming my anxiety a little bit so i'm glad to have you guys i know i sound like such a baby right now but i'm nervous guys like i know like i have family here like i have very excited family here like I don't even know what the relation is to my parents, but like they are related to me, so I just keep calling them like uncles and aunties. But I do have family here, and it's like easy to you know t shoot them like a little voice message. And I'm sure I'm gonna I'm gonna meet so many people tomorrow. Like I'm sure like I'm gonna find so many best friends here. It's just like me adjusting, you know, adjusting to 
to everything, to this room, to this bed. <laughs> and I think it would have helped if my roommate was here though, so that way I had somebody to explore with. But since I'm the first one here because I did early check-in, it's just me and my thoughts. <laughs> but I should be okay, guys. So I'll talk to you in a little bit if I vlog a little bit more. Alright, bye guys.